Welcome to pre math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, two triangles this uh, white uh, right triangle and this uh, green right triangle as well. The area of this uh, white uh, right triangle has been given to us as uh, 294 centimeters square. And its uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 35 centimeter. And moreover, this angle uh, CAD is uh, 2 times X, whereas uh, this angle uh, BCD is uh, X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, BDC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, white uh, right triangle. This is a 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, these uh, two other angles are going to be our uh, complementary angles. In other words, uh, some of these two angles is going to be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, if this angle is 2x, then this angle has got to be 90 degrees minus 2x. And now let's focus on this green shaded triangle. We can see that this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle and this angle, they are going to be our two complementary angles. In other words, their sum is going to be equal to 90 degrees. If this angle is X, then this angle has got to be 90 degrees minus X. And now let's make an observation. We know that this individual angle is X and this angle is 90 degrees minus 2X. So therefore, when we add these two angles, that is going to be 90 degrees minus 2x plus x is going to give us 90 degrees minus uh, x. So therefore, we are ended up with this uh, angle as 90 degrees minus x. And likewise, uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees minus x. They are identical. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, AC is going to be equal to this side length uh, AB. If this side length uh, is uh, 35, then this uh, side length is going to be 35 uh, centimeter as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC. And now let's assume that its uh, base uh, is uh, lowercase a and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase h. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, white triangle is lowercase a, height is h. And the area of this triangle has been given to us as 294. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we are going to have 294 equals to a half times uh, a times uh, our height uh, h. And now we are going to multiply both uh, sides by 2 to remove uh, this uh, fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides. And here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2, they are gone. So therefore, a times uh, h turns out to be 588. Let me call this our equation number one. And now let's focus once again on this uh, white triangle uh, ADC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 35. And other two legs are a and lowercase uh, h. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have a square plus uh, h square equal to 35 whole square. Let's simplify. So this is going to give us uh, a square plus uh, h square equal to 1225. 
let me label this one as our equation number two and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus uh, two times a b and if i call this our a and this uh, b as our uh, height uh, h then we can write this one uh, as uh, a plus uh, h uh, whole uh, square equal to a square plus uh, h square plus uh, 2 times uh, a times h and now let's make an observation we know from equation 2 our a square plus h square value is uh, 1225 so therefore I am going to replace this part a square plus h square uh, by 1225 and likewise from equation 1 our a times h value is 588 so therefore I am going to substitute a h value as 588 over here so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got a plus h whole square equal to 1225 plus 2 times 588 let me undo this square by taking square root on left hand side and on the right hand side as well and here we can see this square and square root undo each other so therefore uh, a plus h value turns out to be 49 i'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number three and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus two times a b if i call this one uh, as uh, a and this b as uh, h then we can write this one uh, a minus uh, h whole square could be written as uh, a square plus uh, h square minus 2 times uh, a times h and now let's make an observation once again a square plus h square is equal to 1225 so i'm going to replace this one by 1225 and likewise this a times h i'm going to replace it by 588 uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced uh, these values uh, over here and now i'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore a minus uh, h value turns out to be 7 and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number four and here we are ended up with these uh, equations three and four and now we are going to solve this system uh, for uh, a value and h value and now we are going to add these two equations we can see this uh, positive h and negative h is gone so therefore two times uh, a equals to 56 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate a so therefore our a value turns out to be 28 uh, centimeter so therefore our this uh, a value turns out to be 28 and finally i am going to substitute this a equals to 28 value in this uh, equation 3 so i'm going to replace it uh, 28 over here so therefore we got uh, 28 uh, plus h equals to 49 and now we are going to subtract 28 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, our height uh, h uh, turns out to be 21 uh, centimeter so therefore our this uh, height uh, h turns out to be 21 and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, a b length uh, is uh, 35 and this uh, a d length uh, is uh, 28 so therefore this remaining uh, b d length is going to be 35 minus 20 is going to give us uh, 7 centimeter and here's our final step let's focus on this uh, green triangle uh, b d c and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green triangle and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case uh, the base of this green triangle is 7 and the height uh, is 21 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we are going to have uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 7 times uh, 21 and that is going to be equal to 73.5 uh, 
five centimeter square. So that's the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 73.5 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.